My name is Chanel Miller and I am an artist. I was first introduced to the world through the media as a victim and that was an identity that I didn't want and I thought if I don't begin to actively shape myself then there's an identity waiting for me that will be all-consuming and threaten to define me for the rest of my life. Art requires imagination, and imagination is the key ingredient to empathy. That's the power of art, is letting people see how you move through the world, to see what experiences you've endured, and how that's shaped who you are today. Growing up in Palo Alto, my mom would always take us to the Asian Art Museum. Whenever I visited the Asian Art Museum, it never once occurred to me that it was a space where I could be celebrated and be seen. I hope any visitors who come through will see my work there and say maybe this is possible for me too. The title of the piece is I Was, I Am, I Will Be. They're unfinished sentences. I encourage any viewer to fill in those phrases with their own experiences and to take the time to reflect on their own life trajectory. The first phase is I was, and that character is reclined. I wanted that character to be dormant because the past is fixed. You can't change it and you can't manipulate it in any way. Then we move to I am. That character is sitting cross-legged. In the present is the only time we can be fully grounded. And the present is always here if we need to center ourselves. And then I will be. The character is gradually getting up. And I like that it doesn't end with a final note. The character isn't raising its arms in victory, just kind of exiting the panel with the gaze upward, indicating it's forward facing and looking forward to whatever may come into its life. I think a lot about healing through my work. In the book, I talk about how healing is not linear, it's cyclic. It's about returning to that awful place to forge something, how you're going to let your past experiences inform your current character. And so in this piece, I valued that process and it was about accepting that I'll never arrive somewhere, I'll never officially become something or get a certificate of survival. It's more that I'm in the state of constant becoming and that's a beautiful thing.